the Daymaker, when we go trolling or we go live baiting, some of the first things that we look for, a variable of surface condition, birds, bait, color change, weed, rip, temperature breaks. Some of the things that we don't necessarily know until we slow down or stop is maybe direction of current and water quality sometimes. It's hard to tell until the sun gets high or if there's cloud cover, it's hard to tell. I will say that I spend out of Stewart primarily 95% of my time live baiting or trolling inside of 250 foot. And the reason for that is, one, that seems to be where most of the migratory fish pattern through or migrate through most times of the year. But two, if we don't have a surface condition, we have so many natural and artificial reef spots in those zones that stretch from three or four miles below the inlet to 10 miles above the inlet, the area that we fish, that I essentially connect the dots for a better part of the day when we're trolling. And we bounce from bottom spot to bottom spot, looking for bait that would cause a migrating pelagic fish to stop and hang out for a little bit where hopefully we can get a bite from them.